we're going to be looking at temperature. Temperature indicates the direction in which heat will flow. So heat energy or thermal energy will flow from a place of high temperature to a place of low temperature. So we see a net movement of heat from hot to cold. If we have regions of equal temperature, then we say that these regions are in thermal equilibrium. That means there's no net heat flow between them. There's no net thermal energy that is transferred between the regions. The Celsius temperature scale is based on the properties of water and it has two fixed points. So that is the melting point of pure ice, which is zero degrees C and the boiling point of pure water, which is 100 degrees C. So the range of this temperature scale is divided equally into 100 intervals. So each division is equal to one degree C. The thermodynamic temperature scale, also known as the Kelvin scale of temperature, does not depend on any property of the substance. If you remember Kelvin scale representing absolute temperature is related to the average kinetic energy of the molecules of the substance. The two fixed points for the thermodynamic scale is the first point is absolute zero and the second point is the triple point of water which is the temperature at which all the three states of water can exist. So that's ice, water and water vapour. And that temperature is 273.16 Kelvin or 0 0.01 degrees C. It is an awkward um, value. And so the range is divided into 273.16 intervals to make each division 1 Kelvin. To convert degree C into Kelvin, we add the degree Celsius to 273.15. So that means zero degrees C represents 273.15 Kelvin and 100 degrees C represents 373.15 Kelvin. It's important then to note that a change in temperature in Kelvin is also equal to the same change in temperature in degrees C. So both of these are representing a change of 100 Kelvin, which is equal to a change in temperature of 100 degrees C. So does the thermometer measure its own temperature or the temperature of its surroundings? Well, it measures its own temperature. And that's because the reading of the thermometer changes because heat is either flowing into or out of the thermometer depending upon the surroundings. And so the temperature of the thermometer is changing but not the surroundings. So for example if the surroundings is hotter then heat will flow into the thermometer and so its reading will increase. And it's only when the thermometer gives a steady reading then we can say that the thermometer is in thermal equilibrium with the surroundings and so the thermometer and the surroundings are at the same temperature and hence we get a measurement of the temperature of the surroundings.